So I've put in a few hours on the Talus Principle 2 and the best way to describe the game to you would be to say that it's an open world game with a thought out story, interesting characters and a lot more puzzles. I'm Green Lycan here to help you find your next favourite game and today we're going to be looking at the gameplay, the visuals and the story structure of the Talos Principle 2 and at the end of the video I'll give you my score out of 10. So let's get started with what the Talos Principle 2 is. It's a first or third person game set in a future where humanity has been become extinct and robots are the new human race. Tasked with trying to find out what is on a mysterious island and what is hiding, you play as 1K, who is the newest and final human to be created. The Talos Principle 2 is a sequel and reinvention of the puzzle genre that we got to know and love in the first game, but what makes it different? Well, let's start with the gameplay and what makes it worth playing. The main thing about the gameplay in the Talos Principle 2 is that the game doesn't hold your hand at all. From the minute you start the game and begin the tutorial section, the game leaves you to figure out things on your own. This means that you don't get hints and tips about puzzles that you're doing, you just have to keep looking around, figure out the mechanics of each puzzle and all the elements of it on your own until you figure out the solution yourself. But there is one thing that the game does really well, and that is that it makes you think. After you start to realise how puzzles can work, you'll start to think differently with each new puzzle that you encounter. The game doesn't really allow you to complete puzzles through trial and error. It gets you thinking logically and forces you to think outside of the box in order to find a solution. This is exactly what makes the Talos Principle 2 a great game. It throws you in at the deep end, turns its back and walks away and leaves you to fend for yourself. But by doing this, it forces you to adapt your way of thinking and if you aren't already, by the end of the game, it will have you turned into a big brained gamer. If you are already a big brained gamer, then make sure you've hit the like and subscribe button and get down in the comments and tell me how big that brain really is. Next, we'll talk about the visuals. Visually, the game is stunning. With a lot of detail added to even the smallest parts of the environment, the game has a futuristic feel to it, but the ancient structures feel realistic and accurate to what you'd expect from crumbling old architecture. The world is vibrant and looks great, but I shouldn't need to tell you this because if you're watching, then you've been looking at the gameplay this whole time, so you should already know. And because of that, I'll move straight on to the story structure of the game. When it comes to the story in this game, it works as a narrative between 1K and the other humans, or robots, that are with you on your expedition to the island. The story plays out through discussions between characters as you discover new puzzles and new parts of the island, with each character's personality adding to the dynamic of the group on its own. Because I can't really give away anything with spoilers, I'm going to completely skip that part and basically just say that from what I've played of the game so far, the story is gripping, it keeps you involved, and it's very entertaining. As a fan of the first game, I can say that Crow Team have outdone themselves and definitely expanded on the Talos Principle world with this game. So now that you know a bit more about the Talos Principle 2, it's nearly time for me to give you my score. But before I do that, make sure you get down in the comments below, tell me what you think of the game, and hit the like and subscribe buttons as well. And now for my score, I'm going to give the Talos Principle 2 an 8 out of 10. This is because it has an interesting and engaging story, it's got great gameplay and a decent assortment of puzzles and puzzle mechanics that keep you thinking and going for a while. But if you don't like the idea of puzzle games, then maybe you prefer story based games or even a first person shooter. If so, feel free to check out The Invincible on the left up here, or check out Robocop Rogue City on the right. I've been Green Lycan and I'll see you in the next one.